But at the time, I, I understood the pain Lincoln was in. Come home from war expecting peace. But in Lincoln's case, all he found was pain. Heartbreak. Ain't no way that doesn't drive you down into the muck and mire. Anyways, I was, uh... I was thinking, hoping really that, uh... If I could help him find a little closure... Maybe we could shift his focus away from the Marcanos. See, he was in a coma when we laid Sammy and Ellis to rest. So he ain't never had a chance to say his goodbyes. Thought maybe if he did, he might see that he had a chance at a normal life. If there ever was a soul more wrong than I. I do not know him. Us going to Sammy's like this is going to do you a lot of good, Lincoln. I'll be honest with you, Father. I hardly see the point in it. Hard thing to let go to say goodbye. Saying goodbye won't give me what I want, Father. Maybe what you want isn't what you need, son. Y'all, Lily called yesterday, checking up on you again. Think she's setting her mind on doing something with Sammy's. Can't hardly see what. The shape it's in and all. Well, she's always been a woman of determination. Don't know if you recall, but after Perla passed, Sammy went to a dark place. Buried the loss deep down. Started running girls out the back of the bar at all hours of the night. Finally, Lily had had enough. She marched in with the fire of God inside of her, kicked all those girls out. Customers, Sammy's crew. And boy, if she didn't lay into a brother like I've never seen, told him he was doing wrong by Perla, or more importantly, he was doing wrong by you boys, sending the message that their mother didn't matter. From that point on, there was no more prostitution in that place. Huh. All I remember from that time is Aunt Lily swooping in and taking us to her place for a few nights, getting ice cream and such. She protected you boys. Family like that's a gift from God, son. Drive y'all out of here. One of my parishioners, she's out of town, has an apartment in Tikfa. It's safe. You... you don't know that. I'll take her there. Meet me when you're ready. All right. Gonna take a look around inside first. You have a recon camera? 
Everybody tells a story. Shot him as he was running away. Look at your marks. Must have had him tied up. So they drag him in here. When he tries to escape, they shoot him dead. But why were they in here at all? Now what the hell happened to you? Like he took a knife to the gut. Interesting. No signs of being restrained. Some kind of tattoo might mean something. seen a card like this. Flowers hand painted. Looks like you messed with the wrong girl. Oh, shit. What the fuck are they burning? Some kind of incense or something. Covered in blood. That's what that girl Anna was saying. This thing looks ritualistic. These markings. Strangest thing. All right, that's all there is. Time to go. stress reaction but I think the term that I always preferred was uh, shell shock we all heard it said before that uh, war is hell ain't no surprise there the pain the guilt the anger and the rage for what you were forced to do in a wartime situation sticks to your soul. So I, uh, I knew right then and there that whatever that girl was going through was some kind of war. Cause there was hell burning in her eyes. <laughs> 